Well, back in August, we ran the first EIB ESB uh, hybrid for Third ID, and we were able to combine both of them into one training event. We got to work with both committees to figure out how to make that work, and we were fairly successful with it. Since then, First Brigade has ran one, and this is our second time, so now we've actually perfected the process and made it a very smooth transition and very easy for the soldiers to participate from both the infantry side and the support sides. One thing I noticed is there are some people who go through individually, and then there are some people who go through as a group. I've noticed the people that go through as a group um, tend to do really well. They tend to do a little bit better than the individuals because every lane has practice equipment, the same exact equipment that you test with. So it's good for them to get to the lane, kind of brain dump everything else, clear their mind, practice that exact task, use their, their battle buddy as a casualty, and then that way they can come in and nail it. But you're doing it as a team, so you can bounce ideas off each other, people can catch your mistakes, and it tends to work better that way. So I highly recommend you know working as a team. So I wanted to set the prime example for my soldiers. Uh, come out here and tell, show them, basically, uh, you can get after this uh, no matter how many times you've done it. Like, uh, I'm not above EIB and everybody needs to have their EIB and or ESB in my opinion. Uh, I unfortunately didn't have it yet, so I wanted to come out here, set that prime example for my soldiers, uh, have them come out here and, and follow my lead.